hand everybody on the Bailey, Bailey Olympus 546. So we'll start off at the front where you have your Alco hitch head and stabiliser. So to enter the tow ball, lift the black handle like so. Tow back of your car, slots in nicely, black handle slots down. The stabiliser locks it into place where you'll see this green pin slide up to show that the tow ball is locked into place. To release the stabiliser up, handle up, tow ball comes out. You have your safety cable uh, here, your handbrake, your handbrake dropper will drop your handle, your 13 pin plug which does your exterior lights as we'll see as we go around the van, your 12 volt to the fridge if your car is wired correctly and when connected to your car your ATC as well. Obviously once activated it will go green or solid or flat solid or flashing green to indicate that it's working. In here we have your gas locker where you have your bulkhead regulator and two slots for two 6kg propane or butane gas bottles. On this side we have your whale with a little cord which slots into the aqua roll which has slots into the inlet. Then we have your battery locker where you have your battery tray strap and battery strap to hold it in place and you have your live and neutral left and battery terminal so two foot lanes in there <coughs> fill up one for your, for your toilet flush and obviously you can set cassette locker here where you can put back in to empty your toilet cassette waste points down there all the lights working now inside the van Inside the van you have your main control panel where you have your master, lights, awning and water pump. Put some light is on, like so. And obviously but you can turn all the lights on and off individually. Before turning your water pump on you might want to make sure this isolation switch here is turned down, uh, is facing down in a horizontal position to hold water into the system. Then you can press your pump button, which then turns the pump on, and obviously you can run water through your kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and obviously your shower, like so. Also in the bathroom we have your fit for toilet flush, so obviously when you're ready to flush, hold button like so, obviously you put all the fluid through to the toilet, then obviously you open the flap at the bottom to release it into the toilet cassette. Once all the water, all the air is shed out of the water system, your pump will turn on and off as it is calibrated. Your main consumer unit down here is where your main RCD is and they recommend that you press the test button every time you connect to 240 just to make sure that your RCD is tripping as it should. And then you have your three MCB, two MCB sorry, and your 12 volt fuses and what they are for. Here we have your gas hob and cooker. So to turn on, just hold the button like so, stick it where you want it, high flame or low flame, while pressing the igniter. And that goes same for the grill, push in, press the igniter, and then the oven, push in, push the igniter. Then here we have your Fetford fridge, where you have three settings, gas, once on gas, you hold this in like so, while pressing the igniter button. And then obviously this will go to the green and lit and stay. Then you have mains, once connected to mains, obviously your fridge will connect to the mains and obviously start to work. Also have your temperature gauge here, obviously to choose what temperature you want it at. And then battery will only work on 12 volt when connected to the car and will only maintain the temperature already in the fridge. And obviously that is to turn it off. Then we have your room heater. You have all the settings down here. So to use your rum heater, you press that on like so. You should have set your one on half kilowatt, one kilowatt, or two kilowatt. 
and obviously the, the temperature gauge in the middle as well. Then obviously you've got middle for that, that for the fan, and that for auto, and your different fan settings here. Then to turn off, like so, back to centre. And then for gas, what you want to do is this knob here, push in while pressing the ignite, and through this little peep hole, you will see the flame when it is lit. Down here we have your water heater on electric, that just needs to be pressed, and obviously your water heater will automatically turn on electric. Then we have it on gas. Here it tick. If it fails, it will go to red. When it's lit, it will stay green. Before we finish off the video, we have your uh, movers to demonstrate. We have two pieces of paper in the van as well. One is your warranty cover. Obviously shows you what our warranty does entail and what it doesn't. And obviously at the bottom here it does say so that warranty is a back-to-base warranty. And we have a winterization sheet here, how to correctly winterize your van ready for the winter to prevent any frost damage, because frost damage isn't part of our warranty. And obviously we have your book pack here with further information in. On the van you have a power touch mover fitted, so we're going to get bar. On to our side, gauge tighty clunk. Go around the opposite side. Take turn on the isolation switch. So, then you can now release your handbrake once the, the motors are connect, engaged to the wheel. Then you get your hand set. Two power buttons like so. And obviously on here you have your round the outside and what direction you want it to go. Like so. Then to one's finished, always apply the handbrake first. Turn off the isolation switch. Then hold two bar points like so to disengage. Disengage from using the bar. Thank you.